up guys welcome back to the channel okay listen I've had a couple of questions from several of you out there asking what I use to film my videos and how I actually do them now I'm sorry this may come across as kind of mansplaining a little because it's not that difficult but I think it can still be interesting even if it's easy let's get right into it Oh boy, it is a horrendously beautiful day. I mean, it's incredible. It's about 61 degrees, the humidity's low, and not a cloud in the sky. Perfect. For filming most of my running content, like all the content that you see when I'm at races, I use the GoPro Hero 7 Black. And the Hero 8 Black came out at the end of 2019 but I didn't upgrade. The upgrades weren't enough from the Hero 7 for me to justify it. And I think the Hero 7 still puts out a very solid picture, excellent video, and the sound is pretty good, as you can tell right now. I don't have any external mics. I'm talking directly to the camera. I usually film in 2.7K at 60 frames a second. And, as far as the, the angle of the lens goes, I mix it up between a wide angle lens and a linear. Linear is, it's like a regular camera view. So it doesn't have that, that fisheye look. But most of the time when I'm running like this, the camera is only about just over a foot and a half from my face. So I want the camera to seem like it's further away. That's why I use the wide angle lens. Okay, so you've probably noticed that a lot of my shots, a lot of my shots are me running by the camera or walking through a door and then coming out the other side. And that is done just by moving around a lot. I do everything two or three times. So I will, I'll run, I'll put the camera down, start it, run back, run past the camera, come back to the camera, turn it, run back behind the camera and then run past it again. And that just gives me gives me a look of fluidity as the camera is moving and it you know it helps to tell the story like right now you're wondering why I am in this porta potty telling this story and it's not really part of the story um, I just thought it was like disgusting and you know by being in a porta potty I'm trying to get trying to get those clicks you know that's what it's all about disgusting porta potty YouTube clicks all right next I'm looking for locations i'm looking for somewhere where i can put down the camera and run past it and you know i try and mix it up i'm sure if you've been watching my channel for a while you've seen me you know do the same run pass because some of them are better than others but look at this we have we have this partially finished brick wall and lucky for us it's in the shade which always helps so I'm going to set up the camera, kind of looking this way on the road, and off I go. Alright, I went a couple steps past the camera. Now I'm turning it to face the other way. I'm looking at the back just to make sure. Okay, I'm just noticing now that the lens was a little low to what I usually like to do, but when I put it together, this is what it looks like. Right, it looks like we've got uh, a little bridge over a creek coming up, so this one will be good. Okay, so you saw me climb up onto this bridge and now I'm gonna put place the camera and go through other parts of running past the camera so it looks fluid when I'm actually, when I string it all together. So let's come back. You saw me just climb up. Now we're just gonna run along the top of the bridge like this.
Okay, that was one view, but now I want a view of me running towards the camera and then running away from the camera. I actually lost my balance a bit as I uh, jumped over the camera there. All right, listen, I hope I took my time uh, and made the, make sure the camera angle's good because I think that could really be good. But this is what it looks like after I string it all together. All right, keep watching my friends. We're almost done with this run. Now I'm going to show you the camera I use when I'm inside the house. All right guys, so by the time you see me in this position, I've already finished my run, gone inside to check my phone so I can check the mileage versus kilometers so I can tell you guys. Also, I would have checked the weather at the end of my run so I can add a card like this. But let me put it all together and I'll show you now what it looks like at the end. All right, guys, that was a fantastic run. A beautiful 66 degrees and sunny. Okay, today's run was 9.33 miles or 15 kilometers at an average pace of 817 a mile or 509 a kilometer. Okay, why don't we take this inside and I'll show you the cameras I use when I'm inside the house. All right, all right. Back from the run inside the house. Okay, so I don't know if I showed you, I know I only talked about it, but I'm using the Hero 7 Black, which is that. It's very small, perfect. And I usually run in a little handle like this. So this is the cage on top. GoPro slides in, and I can run holding it like this. So I'll usually like hold it out, pointing at me, and I'll be talking to it just like this and then the handle turns into a little tripod and I can set it down anywhere and adjust the camera if it's above me or, or however. Right now I am filming on the Canon M50 and this is my camera for inside the house. So let's take a look at that right now. Yeah, this is it. As you can see, I have a, a light on top. The Canon M50 has this screen that flips out from the back so I can actually position myself um, on the camera. So right now I know my head's in the frame and we'll just come around the back like this. That's my little desk with my computer and this right here, this is the uh, the lapel mic which I have hooked in right here. Okay, okay, what else do I film with? I know, the drone! Okay, for the drone I use DJI's Mavic Pro 2 and it unfolds like this and you know, I guess it's pretty portable but it's still kind of a pain in the butt to, to carry places. So when I'm filming with the drone, I usually will finish my run and then I will put the drone up and I will take little run shots. So let's, uh, let's go back to my time at Celery Field so we can see some of this drone footage. So what we're looking at right now is me running alongside the hill. Obviously the drone is following me. There is a feature called active track. However, if you get behind trees, it does kind of lose you. It doesn't pick you up on the other side. So I am running with the remote control in my hand. Usually the drone is so far away, I'm getting such a wide shot that you don't see the remote in my hand. But usually when you see the drone filming me running, I am holding the remote. That way, if it loses me, I can just go ahead and fly it back and focus it on me again. All right, guys, listen, I hope you got some value from this. I hope it wasn't too boring. That is how I film my running YouTube videos. Listen, if you got value, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, consider subscribing. I upload new content at least once a week, every single week, probably twice a week. 
I think, going forward into the new year. What I really hope is that this video motivated you to get out and go for a run. You don't have to film it. It takes a lot longer than just going out for a normal run, but go ahead and get out there. Guys, be kind, be happy, run well, and I'll see you next time.